Hey, hi, hello. <laughs> you know, I really like this space that I'm currently in, in my business and in my overall life. It really feels good to do things that are in alignment, to do things that feel great as well, not just things that are an obligation, right? But things that are not only an obligation, right? But they are also attached to a level of desire. That's really important to me in this season of my life. And I didn't always move in that particular way. Today, I want to talk to you about courage. Before I do that, quick introduction. If this is your first time coming across any of my content, I am Tanya Wilson, Master Life and Business Coach. I help women just like you step into their personal power, scale their businesses, and create lifestyles that they absolutely love, not ones that they tolerate. We can live our entire life just tolerating things, just doing things because traditionally this is what we've been taught or because we feel obligated to do it. But there's a space that we move into that is attached to our desire, that is attached to us actually uh, gaining a measure of pleasure in what we're doing, not just because we're obligated. And that's the space that I am currently in. And I promise you, it all just really came from allowing myself to reach new levels of freedom. Because if we think about this whole thing, for those of you who are business owners, and many of you are earning pretty well, uh, you may be at your six-figure mark or beyond, or some of you may be at that 75K mark and stuck, you know, trying to get to that six-figure mark. But money isn't as hard to come by as it may have been in other times and seasons in your business building process. And what I find is despite where we're at in the level of earning that we have, at some point what begins to matter is the measure of freedom that we have creating it. And I haven't even gotten into the subject of what I want to talk about on today, but all of it ties in, all of it ties in. Because I've personally, especially if you followed me for quite some time, you know that I've personal growth has been my thing. I've always had this love for personal growth. Even as a young girl, I can remember the books and things that I read, even as early as junior high and high school, had something to do with personal growth and development. Uh, this is not a new thing for me. And I believe that it's just something I naturally gravitated to for quite some time. But as life would have it, things happen where personal development and personal growth is a necessity. <laughs> so I've had a few of those times to happen in, in my life where it was a requirement <laughs> for me to really tap into my personal power and make personal growth and development not only a necessary thing that I did at that particular time or season of transition, but I became aware that it needed to be at the center of everything that I did, irregardless of whether I was facing a trial or things were absolutely amazing. Um, personal growth and development, doing that inner work has become my thing. And the more that I allow myself to align with higher thoughts and beliefs and higher versions of myself and higher levels of emotional intelligence and emotional growth, the more I align with those particular things, the more I realize that my courage also increases. Now, courage is actually what I want to talk about on today, even though we've taken 
a more extended route to get to the point where I actually mentioned <laughs> that courage is our goal for today, but it is what I want to talk about. It, it is, it's been on my heart. Uh, that's what is resonating for me. I think when I started speaking, I began sharing about how being in alignment and really being connected to what I'm doing, how important it is to me in this particular season. And so what was resonating for me and what really felt really natural to talk about on today, you know, is courage. And so I want to give you a definition. You know, I'm a words girl uh, before I get started. And it's actually going to be brief. You know, what I talk about as it relates to courage, I just, I real, I had this revelation or realization or awareness um, whichever one of those words resonates for you, that my courage increases as I do inner work, as I heal, even as I do inner work as it relates to my brand. You guys know that I, when I'm working with women on their business, which is actually my main thing, it just so happens that I notice in that process that Many women, women who came to me, it wasn't that they couldn't do the strategy. It's just that they had other internal, personal things transpiring that were keeping them, whether it was a mindset, um, a belief, or even lacking courage that was keeping them from actually doing the strategies. And so that's where my desire to even get certified uh, came with life coaching. I was life coaching before the certification, but that's where that aspect comes in and where you hear, hear me often speaking from a space of personal growth and development because I understand that all those things are, are intertwined. And as I do my own work, I realize that whenever I was out of alignment with myself, whenever I was allowing things in my life that did not serve who I was at that time or who I desired to become, whenever I put myself last, whenever I allowed my limiting beliefs to run the show, whenever I did not check in with myself, I often didn't have the courage to do what was necessary for next. You see, you need courage even to have a great relationship that would lead to a divine marriage with a divine partner. You need courage. And if you're listening to this, it's very likely that you've had your heart broken before. And oftentimes that will lead you down a path of not wanting to trust. But it takes courage to do your inner work, to find the space to get in alignment, to believe that there is a divine partner out there for you. And then once you meet that person, it takes courage to say yes, because there's a realization that nothing in the area of relationships is guaranteed. And so it takes courage to say, I'm willing to bet on myself for this experience that I desire. Although there's not a 100% guarantee that it's going to work. But because I've done my inner work, and this is how inner work and courage ties in, this is how healing allows you to operate in courage. But because I've done my inner work, I understand that I also have the tools that if that 5% chance that it may not work were to happen, that I've done enough inner work that I'm going to be okay. It takes courage to make a new move in your business, despite what may be transpiring outside of you. But I promise you, and you can ask anyone that you know who owns a business, who's done well, who has done something different. Maybe they have transition from working a nine to five to becoming a full-time entrepreneur. Maybe they finally hit their six-figure mark in their business. Maybe they 
hired their first staff member and now they have 12 staff members maybe they change the role that they played in their business and they're no longer doing it all by themselves ask them did they have to have a measure of courage in order to do it and when i talk about healing as it relates to having courage you have to heal some of those limiting beliefs some of those thoughts and the thinking the tradition even maybe who you're listening to that's telling you it's not going to work this is not a good idea the timing is not right because for some people the timing is never right and it takes courage to step out and do that thing that no one in your family has ever done before or no one in your current friends group has ever done before it takes courage it takes courage to stop a bad habit maybe an addiction maybe to let go of someone who is no good for you it takes courage but prior to having the courage inner work comes into play some healing comes into play a decision comes into play because sometimes you just simply have to decide that you deserve what it is that you desire and that you're willing to step out on courage. Listen, courage is the ability to act in the face of fear, danger, or uncertainty, right? And so maybe there is a fear because it's something that you haven't done before, or maybe logically it it doesn't seem like this is traditionally what someone else would do. Maybe it feels dangerous because you guys know I tell you all the time the brain was created to protect you. And so even something new that would do wonders for your legacy, for your business, that would cause an amazing return on your investment. Even those things, if you haven't done them before, will register to the brain as if it's dangerous. And the brain will do everything to protect you, whether it's telling you that it's not possible, giving you uh, feelings in your body that create uh, blocks um, of, of energy that don't feel receptive of what it is you want. The brain will do all the things. It doesn't know that that thing that you're setting out to do is actually going to change the entire trajectory of your life and your family's life, your children and your children's children. It doesn't know that. It registers it all as dangerous. And those are the times where you have to have courage. And remember I said Courage is the ability to set out in the face of fear, danger, or uncertainty. Yes, if it's new, if it's something you haven't done before, if you're moving outside of scarcity thinking that you may have operated in, there may be some uncertainty, but courage is the ability to act in the face of those situations. And I'm understanding that I'm learning in, in every area, in the area of relationships, my business, you know, how I live my life, desiring pleasure and aligning with things that really feel good that I'm not doing only because of obligation, but also because of desire, because of fulfillment and fun, that I'm learning that as I do <laughs> my inner work, as I uncover some of these limiting beliefs, as I look deeper into my business, like really get in alignment with my own brain, a new level of courage rises on the inside of me. And so on today, I wanted to encourage you to have courage. Whatever that may look like for you, whether it's making a new move in your business, maybe it's investing in your business on a level that you haven't before. Maybe it's stepping out and beginning to date and allow yourself to be courted and treated like the queen that you are. You gotta believe that first, right? Maybe it's feminine energy that you need to work on. Maybe you need to take a course in feminine energy or something that's gonna put you in alignment with being able to receive 
at a new level. All the work that I have done and that I'm doing with my clients is absolutely amazing for my life and it increases my courage, right? I'm more tapped in and more aligned than I've ever been. And I want to encourage you today to tap in to whatever it takes for you to have the courage to do that thing that you've always wanted to do or that you're desiring now that you deserve. That's my take. Peace and abundance. Have courage.